Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're showcasing the work of Austrian character actor Oskar Homolka. Throughout his 50-year career, spent a great deal of time on film playing stuffy European diplomats, cranky spies, and nasty generals who seem to have perennial headaches. Well, our next movie with Oskar Homolka is a satire from 1969 with a really amazing cast. The title of the movie is The Mad Woman of Shio. It's from Warner Brothers in 1969, and an adaptation of a famous play by Jean Giraudoux. Now, the cast is headed by Katherine Hepburn, a follow-up for Kate to her Oscar-winning The Lion in Winter. This time, she plays an eccentric countess in Paris who teams up with some slightly wacky friends to try to thwart a secret conspiracy by a group of influential Frenchmen to drill for oil under the streets of Paris. Kate's three girlfriends are played by Dame Edith Evans, Margaret Layton, and Julietta Messina. Julietta, 15 years after her wonderful performance in the 1954 film directed by her husband, Federico Fellini, La Strada. Well, in this movie about the madwoman of Shio, who would be oil drillers, are played by several very big names. Our man of the night, Oscar Omolka, is one. Also, Yul Brenner, Charles Boyer, Donald Pleasance, John Gavin along with Paul Henry as a military general who's loosely based on Charles de Gaulle. Now, Henry was hired to be in this film by the man originally set to direct it, and that was John Huston. This often happens, so-called creative differences behind the scenes prompted Huston to drop out of the project, and he was replaced by Brian Forbes. That was a particular disappointment, though, to Kate Hepburn, who was looking forward to a reunion with the man who had directed her in The African Queen. But here from 1969, also with Danny Kaye, Richard Chamberlain, and John Gavin, we bring you The Mad Woman of Shio.